Today, I want to read to you from Jonah chapter 2 and talk to you about repenting and then still repenting. Here we go, Jonah chapter 2, verses 8 and 9, where we read this. Those who regard worthless idols forsake their own mercy, but I will sacrifice to you. With the voice of thanksgiving, I will pay what I have vowed. Salvation is of the Lord. Now, we don't know what it was like exactly for Jonah in the belly of the fish, (laughs) but it probably wasn't pleasant. It was deep in the fish that Jonah prayed this great prayer and received deliverance from the Lord. In his prayer, Jonah finally realized that resisting God or running from Him was like being an idolater. He said in his prayer, those who regard worthless idols forsake their own mercy. You see, in the belly of the fish, he finally came to his senses and stopped forsaking the Lord who was his mercy. Now, he said, but I will sacrifice to you. Jonah repented from running away from God, and he turned to God with both sacrifice and thanksgiving. He would pay his vows to God and do whatever God told him to do. You know, at one time or another, Jonah had probably said what many of us say in the Christian life. Lord, I'll do whatever you want me to do. Now Jonah realized that he must stop resisting God, and that he should keep his vows to him. In the culmination of his prayer, Jonah cried out these wonderful words, Salvation is of the Lord. Now, that was more than a statement of fact. It was also Jonah's triumphant declaration. God has saved and will save, and Jonah meant it personally. Jonah's salvation was of the Lord. Jonah knew that his salvation was of the Lord, and he now knew it in a broader sense. That salvation is not of a nation, or a race, or a language. It's not of man at all. No, Salvation is of the Lord. At the end of Jonah's prayer, while still in the belly of the fish, it's clear that Jonah repented. But you know, it's not exactly clear when he repented. It's hard to say exactly, but there are indications of repentance when when Jonah said that he feared the Lord and was honest about his story. That's in Jonah chapter 1, verse 9. That was an indication of repentance. There's an indication of repentance when Jonah allowed himself to be cast into the sea. That's Jonah chapter 1, verse 12. That was an indication of repentance, casting himself totally on the Lord. We see something of repentance when Jonah called out to God during the three days and three nights in the belly of the fish. You'll find that in Jonah chapter 2, verses 2, 4, and 7. That's an indication of repentance. And then you could also say that Jonah renewed his commitment to his vow in verse 9 of Jonah 2. This was a further indication of his repentance. So here's the question. (laughs) When did Jonah repent? The answer is found in seeing repentance as more than just a one-time event. Though repentance begins at one point in time, It must continue and mature. Repentance is an event, but it's also a process. Where are you in repentance? If you have turned to the Lord, you've repented unto Him, then keep turning and stay turned unto Him. You can repent before the Lord and keep turned towards Him today.